Hi everybody, this is Lee, and once again I'm talking about the Green Party, the down ballot candidates. Um, I've spoken about several that I found listed on the Green Party's website on the 2017 candidates. And then I said to myself, I don't think that this is all of them, and I've been waiting and waiting <laughs> to see if the list got updated. And it's been static so far, um, but I don't know if there's, you know, if it's not been confirmed yet, the candidates who are also running in different states, um, other than what are listed on, on the Green Party's website as of today, or if the information just hasn't been sent in from the state parties yet to the webmaster. And so I said, I'm not convinced that this is all of them. <laughs> and so I've been exploring around because every once in a while, someone will randomly mention like, oh, he's running too. And I, I go to check and he's not listed. So I'm not sure what to think. Um, and, you know, it's a time factor for me too. I said, well, I can go to each state party's Facebook page and newsletter and see what I can see. Um, but I'm going to actually ask for help. I don't have time. <laughs> that if you are a Green Party candidate running for office for 2017, uh, please chime in in the comment section uh, so we can know who you are and support you. Um, anyway, I did find some. I looked at a few newsletters, and it was a time factor again, but I said, I'm curious like that. And so I went exploring. And I found that Tyler Bryan is running for Congress for the Green Party for Ohio's 12th District. Um, but this is 2018, um, and that um, there won't be, and that's Ohio, um, in Montana, that they will not challenge for Representative Ryan Zink's um, seat, which would be the special election for this year. Rather than that, they are going to run a candidate named Jordan Roser in 2018. He's a 24-year-old Great Falls resident uh, who wants to run for the state house. And so he can't run this year because he's 24, and I think he needs to be 25, um, I believe, <laughs> to run for house. And so uh, hopefully by next year, he will be 25. And then Oregon has four Clatsop County Greens that have announced their candidacy for local office. And this is in 2017, the special election. Um, the election itself is going to be held on May 15th. 2017. And Jacqueline Devaney uh, has filed to run for Clatsop County Health, Health, Health District 3. Susanna Gladwin will run for Jewel School District number 8. Kendwin Hogue for Administrative School District 10. And Bob Goldberg for Sunset Empire Transportation District. And so these are some additional greens running down ballot for 2017. In Minneapolis, um, I haven't seen a slate of greens um, running down ballot for 2017, but they are cross-endorsing. Um, there are some socialist alternatives and some members of city council seeking um, cross-endorsement from the Green Party um, to run for office down ballot. Okay, in Glen Falls, New York, there is a, rent, a retail shop owner and musician. His name is Robin Barkenhagen, and he has announced his candidacy for Glen Falls Councilman at Large um, on the Green Party line. And so that's a citywide office and serves as president of the Common Council. And his opponent will be the Republican, Jane Reed, who actually ran unopposed um, in previous elections. And so this is interesting um, that it's possible to run against candidates who are have um, enjoyed an open field in previous elections and maybe see if the population will explore a different direction when given the opportunity. And so I don't feel that Greens need to really feel too nervous about running in um, conservative districts that Bernie Sanders actually ran on a progressive platform in places like Kentucky and West Virginia and Missouri and did very well, um, coming close to a tie or actually winning those states in the Democratic primary, that there is uh, a base of progressive populist support in some states that are considered conservative and right-leaning. 
And so, you know, since Jill Stein's and the Green Party's platform is about 90% similar to what Bernie Sanders' platform was, I do feel that it's possible for Green to run and not only run, but also win or, you know, come very close to it. And that there were Greens in Arizona who did very well in the races, not winning, but scoring higher than people would um, otherwise think. And so I say give it a shot. Um, if there's only one opponent in the race, whether it's for school board, which is often the case, that these candidates run unopposed. Um, and whether they're Democratic or Republican, that um, it might be a good idea to offer yourself as a choice, um, either as an independent or as a green, um, just to see, you know, if you win, because you might. <laughs> anyway, again, if you are a Green Party candidate seeking office for 2017, then please chime in in the comments um, so we can know who you are. Uh, and then also make sure to contact the webmaster at the Green Party's website. Uh, if you are seeking office in 2017, um, it would be interesting to know who you are as well, or 2018. Um, it would be interesting to know who you are as well. So please chime in. Good luck.